This episode is sponsored by Angie. Angie has made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take. Whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality, it can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app, answer a few questions and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly, which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few taps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com. Shake that thing, miss. Bah, 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 bah. You know that song? <laughs> what is that? It's a good song. What is it? Is it Sean Paul? Yeah. Sean Paul? Remix. Give me the light. What the one? Yeah. Love him. How about, um, um, how about, um. Love Rihanna. You do? Yeah. Really? Think about it. I have. That little bitch showed up on this planet and put out like a dozen timeless pieces of music she put in out like a lot of hits. four years yeah she put a lot of hits and then she said peace out and, and then became a billionaire doing lingeries it's amazing makeups. what she did yeah it's amazing yeah she's very that's cool. how you have a music career mm. you think do she'll do more so music much young do so much young you think that and then just fuck around yeah like I'm not saying she's fucking around but no she has hits that will endure forever yeah, yeah, yeah. she can never put a song out again i don't think she will Honestly. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for uh, her. I know. I say, I feel, listen, I love when people retire or they stop doing stuff. Yeah. Love her. Yeah. Um, I got another. Wait, do you know Casey Musgraves? Yeah. She is so, I, I, I like saw some pictures of her because I was Googling Gwen Stefani at the Met Gala 2019 because I, because <laughs> I was, I love what she, Jeremy Scott. She went the way to Jeremy Scott and then Casey Musgraves is a friend with Jeremy. Was that the Barbie year? Oh, camp. It was camp. Yes. Mama, that was camp. That was she when, was cooking, looking camp right in the eye. But was that the one where Casey was in the pink leather Barbie look? I don't know, but she was in a zipper, big zipper. Maybe that was that. Is it pink leather? It's pink leather. Yeah. She is. She's in the Moschino Jeremy Scott. Outrageously beautiful. Like, I can't even yeah. stand it. Her music's great, too. It, she's yeah, an her icon. voice is. A, I, I, she I, plays I, that guitar. Could, she writes those songs. I couldn't she believe sings. it. She's amazing. And I saw her. She did a little um, holiday special where in every scene she looks Flawless. impeccably stunning. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Lana Del Rey shows up in a little flat shoe and a little kiki a wiggle dress. And that's I said, your friend. That's my friend. I said, Mary, where's the hair and makeup? I know. Where's the, where's the effort? Miss she, Thing is in Gucci, like down. Yeah. Perfection in motion. And uh, no offense to Lana. She's fine. Lovely. Casey's lovely great. Woman. She's so her early music is so good. And then um her album Golden Hour from like four years ago, just amazing. And uh it's us too. It's uh, how do she's so hot. It's and crazy. Her music, that song High Horse. Mm -hmm. Anytime it comes on, I'm happy. Yeah. Good for her. High horse. So good fun. Good for her. She's so pretty. And she um she invited me to an event. Uh you know what is it? Fuck, what's it called? Mary J. Blige. Edie. Oh. Edie Parker. It's a like upscale women's marijuana paraphernalia. So it's oh. like fancy ashtrays, oh, fancy lighters, cool. fancy purses okay. with like a little joint area in it. Okay. Um, I went to one of her holiday parties for the E. Parker and she was, it was her party. Oh, wow. And she invited me and I had the pleasure of going. And, and I was so, Casey Musgrave. and I love her music and I was so nervous to meet her and she was so nice Yeah, and she, so fucking she, beautiful in person it's like i'm i'm telling you if i saw her i'd probably have to like, i'd probably have to get you, know, you know what just move away from her because you're gonna goon and you're gonna say something stupid i know and it's like you know i mean hot people know they're hot like give me a break they don't need to be to retold and retold she's so stunning looking I, I yeah i worked with somebody the other day and i said um i don't know why you're doing this you could be like a model and he was like i do that i am a model yeah, yeah. hi i'm i'm naomi campbell yeah <laughs> It was a guy, and he said, "Hi, I'm Naomi Campbell." Yeah. No, but you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm Cindy Crawford. My name, or I'm Kaya Gerber. I do modeling. Kaya Gerber, not a hot name. No, it's like Kaya Gerber. <laughs> I don't know what she looks like, but that's her name. You don't know what she looks like? Mm. It's Cindy Crawford's supermodel daughter. Oh, 
from she was in American Horror Stories. I don't know, but she certainly looks Cindy Crawford's daughter. Cindy Crawford's daughter looks she is tall as a fucking stick. She looks exactly like her mama. It's insane. It's another dupe of it's, it's like not a dupe, not Tracy, a dupe. She's can you so, fact check that? Are you kidding me? Kaya Gerber is fucking Cindy Crawford's but I, daughter. But I think she's in American oh, oh, Horror oh, oh, Stories. Oh, oh, oh. She's an actor? She's an actor now. I believe she was in American Horror okay. Stories, Stories as a ghost. Oh, a ghost? What a sexy ghost. She was a sexy ghost. Poised. So, I mean, incredible. Yeah. I think also the son is a model too. Well, there you go. Okay. Genetics. Nepo babies of the modeling world. Yeah. Well, but, but see, with modeling though, you have to have the math on your side. It's like my, my little lumpy daughter can't go on the runway if she's under 5'2". My little lumpy daughter. <laughs> you know, no, seriously. Like, no, you're right. No, she's, look at her. Like, if you look at her, she's like, oh, that's a model. Yeah. Because she looks like models look. And you have to look like how models look, I guess, to be a model. I don't know how they would do that. What, make the little lumpy daughter taller? No, just modeling. Oh. I mean, I've done modeling as Trixie. It's. But it's different. Also, it's hard. I'm, t- I'm t- like, I know people think modeling is easy. It's not easy. It's hard for you. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> It is hard for me. It's no, so it, hard for me. No, modeling is hard, but more than the photo shoot and the pose and getting the shot, mm-hmm. the lifestyle, these people going places where they look at your body half naked, yeah. say something horrible to your face, yeah. and then you leave. Yeah. And you're gorgeous, but because you work in an industry where everyone's gorgeous, it means nothing. Nothing. Why wouldn't you get a job at the local Petco and let your looks take you up to a mid-management level? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like. Good look, good look, pri- what is it? Sexy privilege? Uh, a pretty privilege. Pretty privilege. No, that's what it's called. Pretty privilege. Pretty privilege. Yeah, yeah. That will take you farther. Do you think? At a at a Midwestern paper chain <laughs> than the fucking than modeling world because who cares? Models. Everyone's beautiful. I guess and, so. <laughs> and from, isn't runways kind of the, the hot or the, or the uggos, right? Well, it's runways a, yes. like you are either classically model beautiful uh-huh. or you have like a... Um, interesting, uh, interesting tooth. code word, code word. Like you are ugly, but you have your five ten and 120 pounds or whatever. You're like particularly far apart eyes yeah, yeah, or yeah. like striking. Yes. Says striking. Striking Anya. look. Yeah. Anya Taylor-Joy. I would call her also extremely beautiful. She don't think, she, I mean, she doesn't. She is beautiful, yeah. but she also is like an alien bug Oh beauty. yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose you know, yeah. Alien yeah, yeah, yeah. bug energy. Yeah. She has a striking face. It's symmetrical. Crazy symmetrical. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, but 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 you, with the models, you've got your stars, your openers and closers, and then you have your like filler queens, your workhorses, your like the girls who work, 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 but aren't they're not like millionaires. Uh, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? But when you see real what models in the wild, mm-hmm. oh, in New York City goes in New York. That's a model. <laughs> yeah, in New York because nobody ever walks in L.A. You never get to see stars. It sucks. Yeah, it sucks in L.A. You know, they're either sitting down in a restaurant or in their car. You never see them out in the wild. You never see them in the wild. In New York, you see models all the time walking and you're like, whoa, that's a model. Yeah. They look so different. They look like giraffes. They look not human. And I mean that like in a totally nice like like, way. Like like they take your breath away. Yes. It's like an avatar. Yes. It's I'm Sigourney Weaver. They're Sigourney Weaver as the avatar. Yeah. Yes. Jake Sully. (laughs) Have you seen that movie? (laughs) The, Jake the, Sully. Is that the way of water? That's his name. The way of water? Avatar? The Avatar? Water no, I've only seen the first one. Oh, I haven't seen Because I heard the second one's like six hours. Thank you. Who's I'm not got getting the time? involved in that. No, 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 I'm no. I'm not no. doing all that. I'm not bringing my own pee bag. I'm not bringing my pee bag. <laughs> I'm not wearing a diaper to the eye pick. <laughs> and I'm not taking a pee break right no. when Jake Sully, no. you know, the major moment. If I'm going to have steak, Diane, I, want, I don't want to do it in a cinema. I want to do it at home. Because I'm going to need to eat dinner for f- in four hours. You know what I mean? Do you like Dave and Buster's? I've never been there once in my life. Okay. You, you keep talking. You've talked about it for six and a half years. I have to go try it sometime. You got to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. Where is I it? I went um, this weekend. I had off. Where is it? So I was really. It's in Hollywood. Where? Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood and Highland. Very close. This weekend, I was getting. I was really testing my limits of how much I could disconnect from work. Yeah, I know. You also were on the phone with me. You said, it's my day off. You said about 12 and a half times. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to, but I was trying to get used to it myself. <laughs> I think you were trying to convince yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my day off. It's my day off. It's my day off. Yeah, I'm going to go to David. It's my day off. So I, but well, the truth day is, off, I, I don't take many days off, no, when I do have a day off and someone asks me to do something, I make a production of it. I go, it's my one day off. Yeah, it's so, like, uh, j- please stop suffocating me. Yeah. I go to the mall. What mall? And, on Hollywood and Highland. There's a mall? 
Mary, the California Pizza Kitchen, the Hot Topic, the Dave and Buster's, the Sephora. Is that by Grauman's Chinese Theater? Or the Dolby Theater, yes. Oh, I know. I wouldn't call that a mall. Oh, it is a mall. Okay, whatever. Anyways, continue. I went to the local shopping center. Is that better? Yes, because it's, I think of a mall, I think of like Westfield Mall. I think of Also, like I told you it was Hollywood Grove. Highland. And then I said the mall. And you said, where is it? I don't know. You confused me. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood and Highland has that annoying crosswalk yes, that's a crisscross. Criss cross. So yeah, that mom. some dumb bitch yeah. from Paducah. I, Beth from Iowa. From Beth, Beth from, from Iowa. Iowa yeah. Can put on her jean skort and do a her selfie flowing the, blouse. And they do selfies in the middle, Mary. They do selfies, they do selfies, in, selfies in the middle. Mama, they do selfies in the and middle. And I hope a car Ooh, takes them out. Mama, I believe Sprinter firmly band. in my, now that I'm a driver, I believe firmly in my bones that between La Brea and uh, Vermont, Hollywood should be no Not cars. times. Godless times. These are godless times on Hollywood Boulevard. If you want Boulevard. to get run down by a Scientologist in yeah. a Sprinter van, yeah. go to Hollywood Boulevard. Mama, between La Brea and Vermont Ave on Hollywood Boulevard, pedestrians only. Catch it, Mayor. Mama, I Catch live on it, Hollywood Mayor of LA. I live on but we can go, we can, north south traffic can still happen, but yeah. no turning. No fucking, no, no, no east west traffic on Hollywood Boulevard between La Brea and Vermont. Catch it. Law, well, it'll be like Sin City, no laws. It is a big city. Or it is, they, I think they should almost have center i don't know maybe 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 a lane that's depending on the time of day is expressed through or express out can't change his direction can't do it they do that no you gotta do pedestrian only be lawless sin city because the hookers rule the streets friday i got another microneedling facial and you said yeah i'm trying to stack them up look how good it looks i mean you look great but i'm you have makeup on right now a little bit a little bit yeah because it's still red from the treatment oh i see but I mean, when you get them like six to two, two six weeks to two months apart, yeah. they kind of stack the benefits. This time That's when I got in the shower, do, right? I was like, whoa, a baby, a baby. Yeah. It's like the best my skin's ever looked. You put your skin through so much fucking trauma, stra- trauma, trauma. So you're traumatizing your dermis. Yeah. And the epidermis. Yeah. So I go to the Dave and Buster's and I'm scabbed. I'm fully scabbed. You're on Hollywood Boulevard. You fit right in entirely. Yeah. But Okay, I got to tell you this. So there's the the mall, and I go in the mall, and I brought weed. And I thought, and you know I'm getting into weed. So I thought, you know what's going to enhance my Dave & Buster's Day Off experience? Weed. Doing weed. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I puff the weed. Yeah. Marijuana cigarette. I go, and they say, do you need a card? And I said, Mama. I held up my phone where I have 13,000 tickets saved up, and I said, Oh, I'm sorry. Are you Dave? fucking card. (laughs) Are you Dave? Did Did you need to top up your power card? Mama. This isn't my first rodeo, bitch. Hello. Okay, yeah. I know you need to point me to where the coin pushers are the coin right pushers. now. Okay, the like plow games. I like those. You know, oh, where it's like you put the quarter in and then the plow pushes it and the quarters all move. I gotta go. I have no idea, so I gotta go. I find got a out. few games I love to play. Ski ball. I, I love ski ball. I love the, the thing where there's clowns and you have balls and you gotta knock down the little fuzzy clowns. Okay, like <laughs> whack a mole kind of. Yeah, love ski ball. Love um, it looks like. A uh, beer pong, so it's it's like uh, what do you call it? Solo cups, uh-huh. and you have whoo, throw up. Th- you got you got to get them like you know whatever. Okay, do you do uh, games, driving games, any I arcade don't do anything games? Like that. No, but do I they do have a lot one? of analog? Like there's a ball and there's a thing, or like throwing. It's the uh, uh, gross motor movements. So, yes, yeah. One of them is like you know. It's a big combination lock and it's moving either way and you have to stop it on each number. It's like, oh, wow. I like like the baby games. High, no, no, no. These are the high value ticket payout games. These are the oh. games where you can win 50 tickets a game. And I'm, what, not, I'm and, not playing the fun ones, I'm getting less tickets. Okay, so what did the tickets get you? Stay at a hotel? A lot of items. Right now I have oh. enough saved up for a, um, uh, a vacuum. What do you call it? The ones that go on their own? A, a, a Roomba? Yeah. I have enough saved up for a Roomba right now. Those aren't I, cheap. No, I know. I didn't spend it. Um, don't get a Roomba, by the way. Absolutely, don't get a Roomba for my house. No, don't get a Roomba. Why? They're horrible. All that hardwood floor in my house. Oh my god, they're horrible. No, they're not. Yes, the Roomba's horrible. Why? Because there's it's like a stupid fucking robot that doesn't do the job right. You think? I mean, I know. Okay, Mama, don't take jobs away from human beings. <laughs> Mama, you get a melee. You get a melee. You put the attachment on for hardwood floor. Never seen a hardwood floor cleaner. I want. <laughs> I want a weekly cleaning person but you need a cleaner you're never home i know but i i don't want them to be there when i'm there you're never there yeah it's so easy it's so easy because you don't have you don't have a cleaner house you think if i leave a little gown a little cleaning gown in david's size out he'll just like 
Definitely, but you have get to it, have you have to have like really it. nice like custom made rubber gloves. Yeah, like, like a Gucci, dishwashing gloves. Yes, Gucci dishwashing with gloves. the monogrammed, and then yeah, yes. absolutely, and a little punch clock. You can punch in and out. Yes. Yeah. And then I can kind of come by with a white glove and like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. You um, slap them if it's not good. Totally. This show is sponsored by Rakuten. Now that I'm recovering from my hip surgery and getting back into drag, I've had to do a lot of shopping to prepare for these gigs. You know what they say, new hip, new personality. While shopping in itself is fun, it's even more fun thanks to Rakuten. It's the smartest way to save money when you shop because you get cash back at over 3,500 stores across every single category, including fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. Plus, membership is free and it's easy to sign up. I got started in just a couple minutes and before I knew it, I was getting cash back at my favorite retailers, including Nike, Sephora, Bloomingdale's, and more. And Rakuten deposits your cash back directly into your PayPal account, or they can send you a check. So it's really a simple process. Just download the app with a free browser extension. Plus, Rakuten will find you the best deals, sales, and coupons. And you can stack cash back on top of other deals like store sales and credit card points. So join the 15 million Rakuten members who are already saving. Cashback rates change daily. See Rakuten.com for details. Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Hi, gays. If you are unable to see Trixie and Katya live and you want to relive all of the sweat and magic from the comfort of your own home, you can now watch our show starting on June 1st on Veeps. Please check out TrixieandKatya.com for more information. So I'm, at, I'm playing the games, yeah. and I've had, I've had enough. And then I go into the prize area. I must have been in there 40 minutes. Couldn't decide what to get. I just, there's too many possibilities. And I had too much tickets, which made me like drunk with possibility. It's too, yeah. It's I was like, like, oh my God, I could get these online. juggling balls or I could get this Frisbee. It was like just too much in the air. Do too, they have too many like, variables. What about um, sometimes jewelry? Yeah, that's where I got that silver, that gold necklace that said winner. Oh my God. They have but Movado they were watches? Out. Those were three. No, the, the, the necklace was 3000, but I already had one. And they didn't have it at this particular day in Busters. So I decided to wait because you can turn in your tickets that you win for appetizers. They have food there. Mary, they have fierce food oh, there. So, so then I decided to go to the bar and I ordered the nachos with no meat and a Diet Coke. And you loved it. You got your life on that day off. Loved it. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm closing the door to the spiritual realm with the marijuana, but I'm, I'm going for one last hoorah on the way home. Because I decided to walk home. It's about a two mile walk. So I go, I'm going to... And on my day off, walk. Why Absolutely, not? Absolutely, why not? With my lovely walk, listen to music. Mm-hmm. And you know on Hollywood Boulevard, they have the char- people dressed up as characters. Uh, a lot of time, it's like someone in shitty blue face, face yes. paint who's like, I'm Cookie Monster. And you're Batman like, no, you're not. Or some, a guy with a snake. But sometimes it's good. Snake. Oh, yeah. And I was particularly high. And there was a Pennywise. A good one. A very good one. Did you, so fuck, wa- did you fuck him? No, it just, it took me a whole second to understand what was going on. Like I'm walking on the stairs and I'm like, burp, 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 and I look up and there's a very real Pennywise. Just like the real, I mean. With a balloon. Just standing. scare the shit out of you? No, but because it looked like the one from the movie, my brain went, Hollywood Boulevard, it's from the movie. But it was so real and he was just standing there looking at me with the balloon. It did take me a full second to be like, <sighs> Right, Hollywood Boulevard. It just took me out of my just right. for a second. It scared crazy. me. That's crazy. It scared me. I mean, what what would have happened? I mean, if he had like tried to like palpate your boner, I <laughs> am very fine. I'm fine with that. Would you fuck one I of would, those guys? Which one? Yes. Which which uh, are the Hollywood I'm Boulevard characters? I'm not into ass up. I'm not into anon. I'm not into door closed, face covered. But I, but if you have a mask on, it's 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 on. There's something it's okay on with site. that. It's, it's on, on site, site yeah, bitch. Yeah. Can I tell Halloween you? is hot for that reason. I know, I know. Ooh, look at that guy in the fucking mask. Which one? All of them. Should we fuck him? Yeah. <laughs> like that's Halloween. That's Debbie and Paula going to the party. Yes. Yeah, I love it. I went to um I had sex. You know, I've been thinking about sex, like, you know, oh, it's sex, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then I had <laughs> That's the comedy part of you. <laughs> hey, sex, what's up with that? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Men, women, ugh, men are gross, girls are stupid, but yeah. <laughs> like, men are from Mars, wait. women are from Venus. <laughs> I was watching I was watching, so ladies, watching the comedy. The difference social. between me married and not married. Uh-huh. It's like, like one of us has come in their pussy and the other doesn't. Whoop. <laughs> 
I watched a comedy special. I won't say what my it was. husband keeps waking me up and wanting to have sex. Yeah, whoa. I, this all they com- comedians talk about is like get it like is is sex. It's all comedians talk about is sex, sex, yeah. sex, 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 sex. So I finally have sex the other night, and um, it was incredible. I Who'd had, you have sex with? I, I had a guy that I met um, Mario. online. Yeah, Mario extra, Lopez. Extra, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was um it was fu- it was off the charts like Dina Martino would say it was off the charts catch it it was off the charts and we fucked for quite a while you know more than but here's the problem i recently had a hip replacement uh-huh. and thrusting thrusting in a sexual motion thrusting my penis into somebody else's body it, it aggravates. But you know what helps though? Putting on a song that you can kind of match the rhythm to. Yeah. But um, but um, no. I hear it and I know. No, Benny, but-um, no, but-um, Benny Benassi, yeah. um, Satisfaction. Oh. Touch me and then just my. Oh, week. yeah. Go, you want that. So I can my get my satisfaction. satisfaction. One. Yeah. The offbeat. Yeah. Every one in five, I'm doing it. But yeah, it was. Oh my God, it was fabulous. And it was. um. Now he bottomed. He did, and he and, did, and he did brilliantly. No, what's beautifully. The, what's the best and thing expertly for your hip right now? Is it the best for you to like lay there? Probably. Uh, um, yes, the best thing was for me to like have him ride. But see, the problem is that I was so turned on that I couldn't stand still. I couldn't sit still because I was consumed with desire. It was right. it was a really wonderful experience. And then I thought I thought to myself, oh, this is why people go insane. Because mm-hmm. this type of pleasure is not only intoxicating, it's very addicting. It's very like, it's they goon and then they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it was just, and I was, and there was a moment where like in the beginning when we were chatting, cause he's, he's, we don't have, I'll say we don't have very much in common. Let's say that. Um, and I like, I was like, there was a moment where it's like, oh, I don't think this is going to, I don't think this is going to lead into a hookup. And then I, his butt grazed my crotch and I was like, Oh, oh yes, okay. it is. Oh, this is going. This is actually going very much in that direction. Yeah, it was the physicality of it of his body. His body was in the butt was like insane, like off the charts. Number like Cover Girl put the bass in your like you know <laughs> Kaya Gerber on the runway. It was like incredible, <laughs> incredible, and like it could have like this person could be a total dick, a total asshole, a cretin from hell. I would still fuck the shit out of him. Yeah. Like in a second, in a heartbeat, in a moment's notice. I'd leave right now. Listen, this uh, microphone would be on the floor with a dust cloud. Hookups are a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know, the older I get, the more I'm like, I think when I was younger, I was like, yeah, but it's like, it's, it's a supplement for like the real thing. And now I'm like, what's the real thing? Hookups are a different thing. Hookups are two people with really nothing in common. Uh, kind of like temporarily bonding over this mutual interest and then it's over and it's kind of like yeah it's not a supplement for a relationship it's no, its own thing it's its own thing and it, it was like um uh, we uh it was our a second time hooking up but uh there was so there was a, a familiarity but not much of a rapport i'd say and um and it was just god damn it was fabulous to both be like sexually i mean it was like it's such a wonderful thing because it's like oftentimes, I mean, you know, it's when you, you know, the give and take is almost even. That is just, it's electric. Yeah. Boogie woogie. And that's not always happening. No, they're always, they're trying to like hold back their vomit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Lately, I've been having a lot of, um, I keep having more psychic things oh, happen. But wait, wait, wait. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But the Anon thing, it's the opposite of that. I can't do the anon. Like I don't. I. I oh, you mean like no face? No face. No, I don't want to know. Just, just plug in away. Like this guy had a butt that, if it appeared in a glory hole or whatever, I don't know if they do that. But like, if there's a large hole and the butt came through, I'd be like, whoa. Are there butt glory holes? I think so. You just cut, do a bigger hole. It's, well, you, doesn't the dick go through the dick size hole and then your butt is just on the other side? Yeah, but I'm saying if I, I could be able to see it, the butt. Oh, you sure. You know what I mean? So like that, I would be like, oh wow, yeah, I want to do that. It doesn't matter if it's fucking, you know, Mayor of Easttown on the other side. Um, but like, I don't, there was like a, a very, in, um, you like his face and all that too? Yes. Yes. And I, it, like there was a, very, it was very intimate is try, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There was intimacy was very, very intense and palpable, even though it's just a hookup. Right. You know, there's no, it's a no strings situation, situation, but there's still very strong intimacy. Uh huh. So that's great. That's all. Anyways. How'd you meet him? The internet? Grinder. Yeah. 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 You get scared of people coming to your house? Absolutely not. No. And he's, he's funny. He was like, 
he's he knew who I was and he was like a fan or whatever. And he was like, I can't believe you let me come to your house. I was like, why? I guess, I mean, I was like at that, I was like, what? Cause you become a serial killer. I have so many knives. You're short, <laughs> you're shorter than me. I could fucking slit your throat in a second. Yeah. I could, did you say that? Yeah. I, I was think like, that's I, good. I reached into my junk drawer in the kitchen. I took out the, um, the, the, uh, buck knife and I was like, mama, you're like, what are you, wh- what do you think is going to happen? It. Mama, 12 years of karate, hip replacement, no, whatever, whatever. You're like, before my hip replacement, I'd be scared. But yeah. now, yeah. full range of motion. Titanium, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> and you lift your leg up to your eye level and you go, what are you going to do? <laughs> I turned on the track. I was like, this joy is liberated. This joy is liberated. <laughs> I, I love hookups. Yeah. Sex, I'm happy yeah, for you. Sex, is, I mean, yeah. It, I, sex is not everything, but it's certainly something. Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay, but got to live without it. Got to be able will to live you without do, it. Will you do faceless? Will you do? Will I you do? Wanna... I don't want to send you a picture of my face, but no, I, I don't like that know. either. That's crazy. What do you mean faceless? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to know. You're. I got to know. I got to know what you look like. My pictures on on whatever, um, like uh, thing I'm trying to do is say grinder. They. I look like that. Like it's a, a, the whole body. You get a sense of how much I. You, the numbers, which are important. Age, height, weight. That's very important because that those are real. And it's important. Those well, are facts. We, we hope they're facts. We but they have to be facts. Yeah. They fluctuate. Age doesn't. It only changes once a year. No. But I'm saying the representation yeah. fluctuates. I know. So you got to keep them up to date. You know how I feel about 39. I know. Nobody's 39. Nobody's 39. Everybody Nobody's salt and 39. peppered and wrinkled to hell is like, know, I'm 39. I'm like, Nobody's are fun. you? Just don't show the age. I don't think my age, I don't know but what also, my age is showing. I have no issue with old guys. Yes, but I have a lot of people with do. liars. Yes, me too. I have issues with liars. I will fuck your wrinkly old gray yeah. ass. Yeah. But I won't fuck your wrinkly old gray ass if you're trying to shove if it into a 39 age right. package. You lying bitch. Let me see the passport. Because you can be hot at any age. You can of be hot course. at any weight. Yes. Like, don't lie about any of no. that. No, and don't lie about your fucking height, you freak. That you is fucking, that is so you fucking freak. Okay, can I just say this? And I'll make a promise to you, 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 yeah. all of you. If somebody ever comes over for a hookup mm-hmm. and they say they're six five, two. Six two. And they're five ten. Ten. I'm gonna say something. Yeah. And we should all say something because yeah. we have to live in reality. Yeah. We have to live in reality. Unless you are born with those Spice Girls stacked fucking pumps on your feet. Yeah. You are not 6'2". <laughs> and I'm fine with you not being 6'2". Of course. But why are you lying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> the cop good duty <laughs> car. <laughs> like, why are we lying? Why are we lying because, about height? Because, we, because we're so afraid of rejection. And we're so afraid of not getting into the front door because of that, because of that uh, stigma. But I also, I'll suck your tiny cock. <laughs> But not if you tell me it's a huge cock. I will well, suck it. I will. I know, I know. I'll put that tiny little Mr. Peanut Mary, in my mouth. I never, ever, ever. I've never, ever tried. I, when see people uh, relay information about their dick size, that's mother goose. Mama, that's mother that's goose story, talking. That's it's story Aesop's time. Fables. That's, Aesop's that's fables. the busy that's, world of Richard that's Scary. That's drag hour at the library, Mama, honey. None of it is real. None Eloise. of it matters. <laughs> that's Madeline. Mama, that's everybody poops. Okay, and like that's fucking public libraries. That's Maya Angelou, honey. It's- I know why the cage bird sings. That's fiction. That's fiction. The Adventures that's of the Huckleberry King. Finn, Tom Sawyer, Gerald's shit. Game. <laughs> it's crazy. Don't and you can use adjectives all you want. Huge, whatever, Mama. That's it's just Thick. come. That's why I don't. There's no because I'm not really a bottom. There's no like. There's no expectation or 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 um, anything about dick size. But I'm a bottom, and I don't care if it's a small dick. Yeah. Not every bottom cares about well, it being not, a fire hydrant. But well, you're not a gutless, insatiable bottom like like people in L.A. Which that, by the way, I was v- with the hookup. He was very or he he was very pleased with the size and whatever of my penis, and I was very happy for that. Uh-huh. Um, not a lot of guys love an acorn, but this guy couldn't was a chipmunk. <laughs> no, but he. Um, th- People will like, I mean, this is what they're looking for girth wise. Right. This is what they're looking for girth wise. Why? I think it's just, I, I don't know. I think it's just, you go limits. You go, it's, an, a, a, you go, it's like a marathon. It's like you run a mile. You ran 27. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. That's worse. That's weirder than this. You think? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm fine with people having whatever kind of sex they have, but. Yeah. I almost last night I had a gig and I played a remix of Short Dick Man and I I really thought 
I think I need to retire this song. Yeah, I love I, this song, yeah. but I hate the sentiment. I do too. I do too. Because we don't hear like, small titty girl. You don't hear like, I don't want to fuck that small titty girl. It's, right. It's terrible. I don't like that. No. Because I, I do want, well. Yeah, I do want that short dick man. I want that short dick man equal to a big dick man. I don't no. care. Yeah. I want that fat butt man. I don't care if he's got a peanut pecker or a fucking kielbasa on the other now, side. Now, is it a problem for you if you're trying to fuck someone and they have like a normal ass and not a like oh of course i mean it's it's what i mean you don't care I don't there's care. still a butthole I have a, like there's yeah, still a butthole it was a person there's a whole person attached to it i if that was really if it was my desire was so localized i'd just go get one of those fucking latex jennifer dolls right do you know what i mean yes of course and now they have men's ones of course they do gene he's right in the li- living room yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like there's not one in there it's a whole it's a whole thing i don't understand yeah i think it's the porn i mean because i know like I have a regular butt, but there is something there. I've been with guys who have like extended backs where there's yeah. like no gluteal protrusion whatsoever. I mean, that's is, it's a kind of a turnoff, but when they're sitting on your dick, it's fine. But also, isn't it about the butthole? Well, that's where your your dick goes inside. But that's it. where you should be honest. Imagine yeah. if some guy had a like a big round butt and yeah. you're a top and you're like, yeah. yeah. And then you go to spread those cheeks and eat the booty like groceries and there's no butthole. <laughs> And he goes, oh, yeah, I don't fucking have one. Like, that's a time when you speak up and you be honest. Imagine you digging and you you go, oh, I don't think I can. I don't think you have a butthole. And he goes, I don't. That's weird. It's the, the, the point where the, the girl's at the doctor and she doesn't have a pussy. It's on the back of her neck. Did I show you that? Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. He fucks it and it comes out her mouth. Let's take a break. (laughs) Hi, it's Trixie and Katya. We are doing a live Bald and the Beautiful at Just for Laughs on Thursday, July 27th, and tickets are available now. Get yours at montreal.hahaha.com. That's montreal.hahaha.com. I got an official, the official ask, the offer to go to Turkey. So a doctor reached out and said, hey, we would love to do your hairline. Whatever. Um, it, it was a, a facility. So they would fly me first class, um, like go go do the surgery, five star hotel, obviously, like the the works. And then, yeah. And then, you know, and to to help like um, d- like propagate their business. Yeah. To, to dispel like um, the, to the not the room, clarify, like to show that it works. And it, it does. I don't think anyone has doubt that it works. Um, because I think that the reason a- we talk about it is yeah. because we go. Oh look, he has hairline done. I mean, I think that there is there there are there is discussion in about like who is a candidate, right? Like, mm. you know what I mean? How much hair do you need to have? Whatever, whatever. Um, because I know a baldy. I know this bitch, fucking uh, my friend in um, that I saw in uh, uh, London or yeah, in London. He, I saw him. I was like, holy shit, you have fucking hair now. That bitch went to Turkey. He was a bald ass bitch. Bald David Beckham. Um, <laughs> Romeo Beckham. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was like balder than me. So we're super receded in bald spot, big bald spot. Mama, full hair, hair down. Should we just hair do model? It? No, because I'll tell you why. I won't do it because A, I couldn't accept or deal with two hours of that healing process, extended long healing process. And also, I have shitty hair. I had shitty hair. I the don't have good is, hair. The other problem is we, I do, don't want we hair. do drag. Yeah, I don't want it's hair. It's very convenient to, to not, not have, have hair. hair. Also, for drag. going to the hair salon, buying hair products, all that shit. It's a whole thing. Mary, this shape, the skull shaver for five minutes every other day. Love it. I know. Love it's it. It's so easy. I love it. The problem is I'm adjusted to the level of laziness that shaving my head I call it convenience me. that's what I mean I can't go back no also I didn't I don't know what to go back to unless you're talking about extra extra full Mario Lopez like fucking wig well that's what I mean for how much hair you and I have it's not gonna happen it's not going to mean my hairline suddenly migrates to it means I'm oh. gonna have I'm gonna look slightly less bald yeah but and also there's bald. no guarantee and also there's no guarantee and you have to endure and because I, I know everybody has done it that that aftercare recovery time when it grows through gets itchy painful it falls out re- regrowth it's so long it's so crazy it's so nuts i couldn't deal with it it's not for me it's not for me now either. if we're talking about penile enlargements if i could go from an acorn to a little baby carrot 
Now we got some business yeah. to talk about. But we're also men. Being male and being bald is easy. It's not it's an very issue. Easy. I, it's, it's funny. If like, I was a woman and I had like noticeable baldness, it'd be a completely different It's a totally different situation. issue. It's a different it's issue. A different situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like because I- Because the human eye is adjusted to bald men. Like we, we don't we don't think, well, that's weird. When, when you see a bald woman, part of what makes it striking is like, you don't see many bald women. No, yeah. So like, it's, oh, it's bald either, woman. Oh, you think like, oh, maybe chemo, maybe like, or or like if striking, interesting, bold choice. Right. You know what I mean? Depending on the situation. There is something about women with shaved heads. Luckily, when I Jody worked- Turner, fucking whatever, Jody Turner Smith or whatever, Josh, Joshua Jackson's wife, the most stunning. It's a great black look on many ever. people. Holy shit! Yeah, I think of obviously like um, what's her name? Something Rose, Amber Rose. Oh yeah, stunning. Or um, obviously uh, Jada. Yes, stunning. But I mean, but Jada, these are all but Jada could have women. any hairstyle. Right, right, right. right. But Jody, what is it? Jody Turner. It helps to look like Jada yeah. Pinkett Smith. Or if you look like you Jody know. Turner Smith, literally one of the most beautiful women in the entire world. You're Mama. cool for the summer. Yeah, exactly. When I worked at the makeup counter, women would come in when they made the jump of shaving their head. Mm. They would come in and they would often start wearing more or bigger jewelry and more makeup because mm. I yeah. think for them. The long hair was part of their feminine identity. Yeah. So women would shave their heads and they'd be like, that would be the catalyst for them to start wearing bright lipstick, okay. lashes. Yeah. Because it really does balance out a bald head yeah. to have a nice face focus. Totally. I mean, I worked at the wig store and we had many a woman come in who was in the process of chemo. And it was always interesting to see like, you know, the the, the, the there was the woman who was like, I need, okay, I have cancer. I'm starting treatment. I haven't started to lose my hair yet up until the, my hair is gone. I need wigs and it was so fascinating because very emotional losing your hair is wild yeah but then getting it back yeah which so many women, of them do i had women like come in to learn to draw on brows oh right oh, the brows stuff. go lashes lashes like, learning well, to put alopecia. On la- well and gluing on lashes when you don't have any oh, no is shit. a different struggle you really oh, have to kind shit. of place them perfectly yeah um every day too lashes for me every single time i probably put on lashes a thousand times it's it's not easy it's, every time. Oh, I still have lash malfunctions. Yeah, because it's also for drag queens the life cycle of a lash. A brand new lash is different than. I know I don't love a brand new lash. I love a one. You wear used... new lashes every time. I do. So you do love a brand new lash. So what is the when truth? I found out you wore brand new lashes every time? That's when I realized you were rich. <laughs> And you had lost touch and you weren't like us anymore. That I drive a Rolls Royce and I hit homeless people with my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, but I do, I cut them in half and I wear little boo-boo lashes, little baby boo-boos. But um, they're, it's tough because I have tiny little eyes. Do you wear bottoms at all? No. Never. Never. Because you never even do like. I used to. Used to. But they. Even but, like a couple chunks just on the outer. Don't I you have, think that'd be like sexy? No, I, I have. so much smoke on the bottom. I know I have done that. But I, if, if I do a bottom lash, I have to do with such a huge um, top lash. Otherwise, I look like a droopy clown bitch. Do you know oh. what I mean? Because my lashes, my eyes are so small. I don't have any space. You know? Oh. I'm gonna I want to do your makeup. I'm going to get micro needled. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm going to get micro needle. What my guy? Because this, who's Wait, your guy? Wait, are you talking about microblading? Microblading, sorry. <laughs> microblading, 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 microblading. Because when I have to shave off half the fucking eyebrow for drag, I look like whodunit and ran. And this is going to be like, it'll be all uh, penciled in. Uh, Do you miss having, you want to have half eyebrows again? Yes, I'm almost there. You can see them right Makes now. Makes your life easier. I'm almost there. I almost look half human. Almost. But are you going to shave half again? Yes, but they'll be microbladed on. The so, only problem is I think you can't wear makeup for two weeks while it heals. I think it's 10 days. No problem. I got a month off. Uh. <laughs> well, that's why I got my facial. Oh, that right. No one. <laughs> that's why I had three days off last weekend because of the, the facial thing. Right. It's the only time I have time you off. You have to give your face a rest. You, you have do. to. You have to. When my skin starts to look good, I'm always like, look at me. And I'm like. It's a human being skin who doesn't wear makeup. Because I have no in a few days. Yes, exactly. It's drag is so gross. For if you the body. exercise and drink water and don't put makeup on, Ooh, you'd be right amazed. No with, and I have a makeup company, so I'm <laughs> yeah. not saying you yeah. shouldn't wear makeup. <laughs> but you'd be amazed what your skin is capable of. I mean, look yeah. at Amy Shrinkle. Yes. Forty two doesn't wear 65 concealer. Years old. Doesn't wear face makeup. I know. Sixty five years old. Flawless. How about this though? Have you ever tried to put on the brightest eyeshadow and unleashed your inner superhero? <laughs> Ooh, there ain't no other. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna say, 
If we're going to talk about the RuPaul Architectural no, we Digest can't. We're tour. Not. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. I just want to say, I want to say that I watched it three times and I found new things every time. I'm going to say that after I watched it the first time, I had to, I lay down. I had to lay down flat on the, on the sofa. But you know what though? Ooh, there we Any go. of those AD tours, and I've seen several, I've seen Dakota it, Johnson's, I've seen Kirsten Dunst's. I've seen them all. I've seen them all. They all have that effect on me. Every single one is the, the wealth and the celebrity level, that sort of intimacy that they, I mean, it's staged intimacy. Mama, let's talk about this. It's staged. staging. It's staged. But you walk in and you, you walk in, you, you are the viewer. You feel like you are walking in and they are giving, that's the way they shoot it. They shoot it like yeah. someone's giving you a tour of their house. Yeah, like welcome into my home. And I love the series. I love it too. And I love all the houses, even the ones that are like the celebrity ones where they're all gray. I'm like, whatever, I whatever. still love it. Yeah. I yeah. love all of them. I know for a fact that many of those homes are, so one of them, in fact, one of my favorite tours actually learned all that furniture was rented. Shit sold the house months before. Yeah. So it, there's nothing. A lot of times they do it when they're trying to list the house. Oh yeah, I knew that. Yeah, but and um, it's I all, it's it all too. bullshit. It's all fake. It's all staged. It's all produced. It's I all would do my new house. No, yeah. but I don't think it's. I think you need to be way richer than yeah. that. I think I, you need like no, 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 no. They do like. I mean, hi, I'm a, I'm Caroline um, Boo Boo Ville, and this I'm an influencer in Brooklyn. Here's my th- like 300 square foot uh, brownstone apartment. But um, I love Gwyneth's. That's I, what I mean. The, I love Gwyneth Paltrow. Ru- Ruse was crazy, but they're all crazy. They're all, all cra- of them are crazy. I mean, Gwyneth had a spa in her basement. A spa. She had steamworks in her basement. She's it's, on it's, prep. It's nuts. <laughs> it's, Gwyneth it's nuts. is on prep. She's on Ozempic too. Yeah. Ozempic and prep. But I love. Did you I know loved Ozempic her. is injections? Yeah. Okay. Really thought it was a pill. Subcutaneous injections, like in the fat. Like I used so to. So if do, you want to lose weight, you have to be able to inject no, no, yourself. No. It's so I did HGH for like a few months. You did? I did. Yeah. A when? While, um, a couple years ago when did I was your at, skull I was at Laurel. Um, yeah, I would have had to do a skull crusher. <laughs> No, I did it we for like bind my two head months. Like, a, like someone's feet. But the point is, it's a subcutaneous injection, which literally you take, you take pinch a, 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 a little thing of fat. The needle is so tiny, you can't even feel it. It's like, I the, believe like it. I did it on Amy's cat for insulin. I don't believe it. You, mama, you, Girl. I didn't believe it either. I was so terrified. And then I did it. You can do it and you hardly even feel it. Somebody could do it while you slept. I, no, whenever, no joke. I get my like STI screening every three months. No, that's a blood draw. And when they draw. take my blood. No, that's a blood draw, mama. They're always like, are you okay? Are you good? And they go, yeah, I'm fine. No, and then they put the needle no, to the that's... skin and I go, ah! yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. I, this is nothing. When they take your blood, what, what is your actual physical response? I, so I like, I take a deep breath. I calm down and I, as they, as they, I like, I exhale as they go. I, I've had my blood run a lot. I know mine is, mine is unintentionally theatrical. Oh, you do? It's always this arm and they go, all right. And she's, you know, they, most people don't want to look. So I usually look I away. I usually look away as well. And when they do it, I go, oh my God. <laughs> How about this one? Oh my God. How about this one? Have they ever struggled to put in an IV and had to well, try have collapsed three veins or like you, four Jesse times? Pinkman. Listen, no, no, no. I have, <laughs> I'm extremely vascular. That was so mean. I, and that was so mean. <laughs> I'm extremely vascular on, on most of the days. And See, that's a good vein. Well, so, so I was with a nurse who was not very good. Because those are like textbook veins. Yeah, it's, they could take your blood up your arm. Yeah, Is yeah. that from exercise? It's just been being vascular. It's just been being, being but like, people who do marathons and stuff. They usually have like veiny arms. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if I like let them, if I like do a pump, they fucking bulge. It's disgusting. Wow. It's like huge. Like, like they're like a half inch above the skin. It's gross. Yeah. If I was in medical school, I would want your arm. Yes, you don't want you exactly exactly. But there was a bad a nurse who was very very bad at her job. Lovely lady, terrible fucking nurse, who was torturing me torturing me until her supervisor came in and did it in a second but in the meantime i had to endure her sticking and not finding a vein and to insert a port and when, when they don't find it it's a different feeling it's a very different fucking feeling if something feels wrong, off wrong. it feels off it feels wrong and also when and she's getting flustered and i'm getting nervous and then it's getting a whole it's a whole fucking it's a nightmare and it's blood Mary, but of blood course everywhere. not to defend anyone it's incredibly hard. I couldn't do it. I couldn't I do it I would never do it. I couldn't be a phlebotomist. Ross, who does my face. Yeah. Ross, hello. Well, that's different. Oh, he no, missed he my vein to... the other day. Ooh. And he's never missed it. Oof. And he goes, I never miss it. I can't believe yeah. I just missed it. Fuck. And I had to go, I don't think it's in there. Yeah, I don't think yeah, it's in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's in there. And then he switched the other arm. The yeah. other arm had a better vein. Yeah. You also, you have to have confidence. 
there's you have to have confidence like um, i've watched tiktoks of medical students learning how to do that and they have the little needle and they have like a, a sponge or a piece of fruit or whatever and they're just over and over again sticking it just to get used to the yeah because you can't they, you can't you, hesitate you can't hesitate you go right in to go there. right in and there's Lori ottinger the the nurse who did my um thing she's a she's a registered nurse that she is so skilled her technique is so skilled but not to be dumb how do they not stab it into your vein and then through the vein through the other side they just know they know and how, how does to do your it. vein not start squirting blood in your body it's uh, it's all because it's a, because of the technology of the little needles so the just human the body is a mystery it's fucking crazy. i watch a lot of car crash videos <laughs> and <laughs> Twitter at crazy clips watch it all the time it's just all fights and crashes all fights and crashes and I, I like get high and like watch that on my TikTok this close to my face and I go oh my god and David's like I'm trying to sleep and I'm like look and it's a woman flying out of a windshield like in a head-on collision and he's like why are you watching this because I like to know stuff you know some people seek knowledge I'm kind of like Homer or like you know the uh, yeah like I'm kind of like a philosopher but like on Twitter so um, I forgot what I was saying. Car crash. Oh, car crashes. <laughs> right. I'll watch some car crashes where a lot of times in the chat under the, the, the video, it'll be uh, like, oh, this person died. Rest oh, in peace. Right, right, right. And then some other video where something 10 times as crazy happens. And it'll be like, this, this bitch is at fine. The Baskin Robbins. She's fine. Wow. Fuck. I don't want to be in a car crash. Package thieves. I've watched a lot oh, of, the, videos of the videos. Me too. Of package thieves. I've seen them as well. And some people don't get them. Don't steal from some people or they will launch a plan to catch you in the act. Oh, no. So many they videos they of them. people catching them. And what do they do? Mary, some of some people are making the packages explode. And then they run out off their porch and go, told you not to touch my packages, you fucking bitch. Oh, that's crazy. It's crazy. That's or crazy. they wait till they grab the package. And then like they, shoot they run out of the neighbor's garage and tackle them. And they're like, that's my house, bitch. And they, and they call the police, which I love because there's murder. There is, you know, terrorism, whatever. Then there's stealing package. package yeah. <laughs> so you steal someone's package from Amazon. Mama, it's, it's on site. By the firing squad. It's on site. Don't steal packages. Just uh, don't steal mail, but also and be, don't steal packages. And also don't go to the trouble of um, doing exploding package entrapment techniques. That's that's too far. That's too far. Because now we're what, trying to injure people because they and stole what? this booby traps? Was yeah. this yellow jackets? Ooh, Is it Home Alone? Yeah, 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 yeah. Macaulay yeah. Culkin comes yeah. out. But like they're doing, the, they're digging trenches, they're uh, laying leaves over it, and they're trying to get you in a twelve foot pit, and they're gonna leave you on there to starve to death. That's what that exploding Poongy package sticks. energy has. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Exploding <sighs> packages. All right. Well, on that note, I think we should explode this episode I'm and not finish done. it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not done. I have a lot more to fucking talk about. I don't like being silenced. Uh, is it podcast? Don't silence women. Don't silence women. Women's stories matter. Women's they just matter. stories matter. They just matter. Now, this building, we've had packages stolen. Well, because you have that that foyer. I know. That but easy my, access my, my new house, because there's a wall around the property, the packages, they just throw them over the wall. No one can get in there. We never have missing packages. I thought all of that. Thank God. Yeah. Well, wait, wait until you get my little mini tramp and I do a little round off back handspring boom, <laughs> over the, over the fence <laughs> through the trees. Who will be laughing then? Oh, mama over the trees. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure out my fountain in my front yard right now. It's bright green. Mm -hmm. Let's get it blue. I'm going to have to dump out all the water. Mama, welcome to home ownership. This isn't important. <laughs> I guess we can end. Wait, but well, last, final pod. thought, final thought. I want to install a um a, tw a 25 foot uh, tumble track with a crash pad on the top level of my, my deck. See, see, that worries and I, me. And I have done all the research. I know the I know the install. I know the specs. It will work. It will you be. You got to dig into the ground, nope, obviously. Nope. It's a porta track. It's 16 inches high. It's solid firm. It's portable and very stable. It can go right over the deck. A 12 uh, foot crash pad. Very safe. So. I have a few issues here. Yeah. Number one, this is the top of a mountain. Absolutely. So if you hill, did, if hill. you did fall off that, you're going down a hill. No, there is. I'm going. So there are railings. Okay. There it's are trampoline. railings. You don't think you can fly over a over the railing? Of course I can. But I am an experienced tumbler. I go. I go front. I go back. I don't do side to side, Mary. Mary, you I had go a hip front. replacement from walking. 
What, what has nothing to do with it? But not from jumping. You think 45 is the age and living alone, 45 and living alone. Yeah. Let's install a murder track <laughs> so that I can <laughs> off myself. Oh, I see where this is going now. Okay. <laughs> Tragedy struck unexpectedly when local non gymnast Katya was doing gymnastics when in her backyard. Aging tweaker. But <laughs> aging tweaker. Off deck. Off deck. <laughs> Oh, there ain't no other way. Uh, <laughs> ah, off deck. She got on deck and, and then she, she got off, off deck, deck honey. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, can we stop? Let's stop. It's okay. too much. Thank you. It's bye. too much. Thank you, bye. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Off deck. Fuck. <laughs>